We're going to look at how to make a print and cut using your Cameo. And we're starting here in Silhouette Studio. I do have the Designer Edition. You will need the Studio Designer Edition if you want to open your own design files. And you can open JPEGs, PNGs, SVG files, uh, quite a few different file types. The upgraded version also gives you more designer tools. So what we're going to do first is change our page orientation. This is the page icon, not orientation, but the type of page, because we're going to use the letter, 8.5 by 11. And the first thing that I'd like you to do is click on the registration marks and click show registration marks. You have to have that on in order to do the print and then cut function of the Cameo. And you can adjust margins and other things here which we're not going to look at right now. So the first thing we're going to do is look at several different types of files and how to get them ready for cutting. So the first one we're going to look at is, let's see, let's take a digital image. In order to get your images, you go to File, Open, and then navigate to wherever your images are saved. And I've already opened them to save us some time. And so I'm just going to select it, and I'm copying it, and I'm going to paste it into my working document. I'm going to zoom in so I can see what I'm doing here, and so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to go to the trace window, right here. Select trace area, and you see the little crosshairs your image and it shows yellow lines. I'm going to go trace outer image edge so you can see what it does. Pretty surprised but it did pretty well. But we do have some extra cut lines here that we don't want. So I'm going to go to edit, undo, edit, undo, move and then I'm going to go edit, undo for the scan. We're going to start over again. It's still selected. And what I'm going to do is uncheck high pass. I almost always do that. Select low pass. And then I'm going to increase the threshold right around 96. And I have solid yellow lines. And that should do it. I'm going to go trace the outer edge. I always move it to check looks excellent. I'm going to go edit, undo, edit, undo, I'm undo move, add a couple extra undos in there. Okay, I'm going to zoom back out so I can select the image. And if you only select part of it, it won't select. You have to select the entire area. I've got both the cut line and the image selected. And that's just so I can move it out of my way here. And I'm positioning it inside of the red lines, these red lines. Okay, the next kind of image we're going to look at is an SVG file. This is a little flower um, to lace ribbon through. And I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to paste it. Now, SVG files have cut lines. They usually have cut lines. And this one came from SVG Cut, so it does, but you couldn't see, you can't see that. In order to activate your cut lines, you have to go to the cut, these little scissors. It's a cut style window. And why they did that is some cut styles are for perforating an edge, to perforate the whole cut, um, or to cut edge, and sometimes you want no cut, because you're using an a pen in your um, in your cutter. So we of course want to cut the edge. Select it and that's all there is to it. And see this is this is a contained file, there's not two separate pieces. Next we're going to open up an image that I made on my computer in one of my design um, applications. It started as a digital image and I colored it and I put some special effects on it. I'm going to go, oops, I was going to trace it already. Let's bring it over, sorry. 
into our work file here. Trace it. Now let's trace it. Select trace area. I'm going to switch it to low pass and bring it up into the 90s here. And now what I'm looking at is right here, making sure that it connects. Build in. That should do it. Let's try this. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, select them both. Move them up out of the way. And the last image we're going to look at is a digital image that I purchased from a scrapbooking site that sells digital images to use for scrapbooking. I believe it's Wilma Forever is the name of it. But anyways, I've got... There was a fire in this fireplace. So I took this into my... Um, editing program. I use Adobe Fireworks and I removed the fire. I'm going to put a Santa stamp in front of this. So let's take this to our work area because you can bring in fully colored images and still cut them. I really liked how it looks like um, real wood grain and the lighting. This it almost looks like a photo but it's actually a digital digitally, digitally colored. Okay, so select trace area and go around it. This should be pretty easy to do here. Oops. Let's try that. Trace outer edge. Yep, that's all we needed to do. Edit, undo, move. Okay, now we're going to switch to the file that I prepared for cutting. We've got our registration marks. These are some of the same images we traced, and there's some different ones that I did. Okay, so once you get your page ready to print, go to File, Print. Once it's done printing, take your paper and put it on your mat and load it into your Cameo. Once it's loaded and ready to go, open your cut menu select your paper. I'm using heavy cardstock 80 pound and it's set my blade is set to four. I use a double cut. I almost always use a double cut because I get a cleaner cut that way. And press cut. Now proceed on to video part um, print and cut part two.